afternoon I brought you to the middle seven again today one of my favorite stretches just upstream of Beaudley the rivers come up a little bit this week we had some torrential rain early Monday Tuesday and today the rivers about 18 inches up with plenty of color in it nice conditions to catch a few barbel now I'm going to be targeting them today with a small cage feeder and um, pellet up baits so if you enjoy and pick a few tips up now I'm not going to be pre-baiting the peg or anything today I'm not going to put uh, big feeder falls in at the start I'm just going to work my way in uh, just on 10 minute casts with a small four hole cage feeder now 50 gram holds this perfectly today uh, what's good about these as well with smaller cage feeder there's not much resistance from the current um, so some of the bigger feeders you'd need more lead to hold bottom that really is a small feeder so it's a small Nisa um, four hole and as I say that's got a 50 gram lead on it you can start off just with a single pellet on the hook just put a uh, single 8 mil on I like to just band them Like I say, just a small amount of pellets each chuck. I don't want to put loads in. Now, a lot of the time, people are feeding far too heavy now on this river. I've seen this mistake all the time. Buckets full of pudding mix, loads of ground bait, and it just doesn't work. So I'm literally trying to catch one fish at a time now. If I catch six fish on this river, you've done quite well. Um, two seems to be the... Two or three seems to be about all you catch out of a lot of swims now a lot of the time when you fish a barbel peg like this as well you don't need to put loads of bait in the fish are already in the peg it's just about activating them to feed now if I was going to fish maggots and casters and hemp yeah I'd feed a fair bit because those sorts of baits the fish can eat lots of it and not get filled up but with these high protein baits I think less is more now just a small amount uh, just enough to like whet the fish's appetite and get them grubbing around and then they will find your hook bait a lot quicker than if you put a bucket full of pudding mix in the peg I always fish just with one rod as well I don't believe in any of this two rod stuff just don't think there's any need for it but really this is the way you learn about a peg by watching that tip you can see what's going on sometimes under the water you can see little touches you can see line bites it tells you when there's some fish around and when to be ready for a bite with this method I'm fishing off a small bow so nearly all the bites are drop back bites so really the fish is hooked all I've got to do is pick the rod up and often fishing with it across my legs like this you will actually feel the reverberation through the rod when you get a bite so sometimes I might be looking down there and then you feel it and you look up and the tip's straight it's one of the best parts of barbell fishing is the bite that's the most exciting part not knowing if it's a two pounder or a ten pounder and if it's in a match that you're doing that that can be a match changing fish so suddenly you've gone from um, low down in the field to possibly winning the match with one bite on some venues such as Eversham one bite sometimes enough on the seven you're usually looking if it's a barbell match a minimum of three or four fish uh, to think about main listing uh, on, the, on the middle seven stretches bridge north beautifully but again you need a reasonable peg with barbel in it to do that um, the last thing you want to do if you've got barbel in the peg when you get there is blow it by feeding too much pellet into the peg
There we are then. First fish, three, four pound. Pop that one back. This took, this took me an hour to get that first bite. That job could have been the culprit that's been giving me the indications. Uh, you just give me a nice drop back. I don't usually catch that many chub on pellets on this river. I'm sure there's another couple of whiskers there.
see that? Cool. Cool. I've got one there, yeah. Mm. This is the third barbel. About two chop. This is the third barbel. The fishing just coming up to two hours ten minutes. There's not big barbel here but put up a bit of a scrap in this fast water under the rod end. Another nice fish, similar size to the others. Nice condition. Sessions drawn into a close. Uh, I've caught three barbel and two chub. Uh, it's been quite, you know, it's been okay. Um, if you can catch three, four barbel now, you're doing quite well. Uh, not been big barbel, three, four, five pound. Um, and as I say, I'll just run you through the rig. I've used 13 foot feeder rod, 4,000 reel, loaded with 10 pound main line, um, with just a small four hole cage with a 50 gram weight and I've had it on a twizzled loop so you've got two float stops two inches there for the feeder to run on for the, and then um, three or four inches of twizzle boom down to a quick change quick change swivel then I've used three foot of 022 to a size 14 uh, B911X, Camazan B911X. As I say, it's been an enjoyable afternoon. I've had a few bites. Um, I'm sure if I stop another hour, I'll probably catch another couple. 